In this movie, we'll talk about saving images to TIFF. Now, TIFF is the most widely used file format for print images, and that's because it's widely compatible and it features lossless compression. Now, technically speaking, you can save a layered image as a TIFF file, but there's two reasons not to do that. One is that TIFF automatically goes ahead and saves a flat version of the image along with the layers, so it generates larger files than you get using the PSD format with maximized compatibility turned off. Also, it's a matter of tradition. People who get TIFF files do not expect layers to be inside them, so it can really throw them for a loop. And when you're passing off an image for print, you generally want to keep it as small as possible. So let's say I want to save a copy of this layered image in the TIFF format. I would go up to the File menu and choose the Save As command, where I've got that keyboard shortcut of Control-Shift-S or Command-Shift-S on the Mac. And I'll just go ahead and call this guy Pre-Press Cover, let's say. And then I'll change the file format from PSD to TIFF, which, by the way, stands for Tag Image File Format. Now notice that for some reason, alpha channels are turned off right here. And as a result, as a copy is turned on, if I want to save my alpha channels, I would go ahead and turn alpha channels back on. And generally, TIFF is great for alpha channels. So folks expect alpha channels to be in TIFF files, just so you know. They don't expect layers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the layers checkbox off, at which point the as a copy checkbox will be turned on. Now what that means is we will not be changing the name of the file that we're working on. And if we make some changes to it and then go to the file menu and choose the save command, we'll update the original PSD file because there will be no link between the TIFF file that we're about to create and this document. That is what's known by as a copy. At which point you want to go ahead and click the save button in order to save a copy of the image. Next, you'll see the TIFF options dialog box. Now, by default, image compression is set to none. And a lot of folks figure that's the best way to work because after all, compression is bad. Well, that's actually not the case. Lossless compression is great. Lossy compression, as is associated with JPEG, is sometimes bad, but not always. In our case, though, we definitely want to turn on LZW. That is a lossless compression scheme. It doesn't hurt a darn thing. It's very similar to the compression algorithms that are built into the native PSD format automatically. And it's also the same as the kind of compression you apply when you zip a file. So in other words, it's not going to hurt a darn thing. And it is going to result in smaller files on your hard drive. Next, we've got pixel order. You want to leave that one alone. It should be interleaved. Byte order doesn't actually matter. If you're working on a PC, then you can select this first option. If you're working on the Mac, you can save the second option. I can just as well select Macintosh when I'm working on the PC because it truly does not matter. Every modern application that supports TIFF supports both of these options. And then if you're seeing layer compression, make sure discard layers and save a copy is turned on. You also want to leave image pyramid turned off, at which point go ahead and click OK in order to save a copy of that file to the TIFF format. And now I'll go up to the file menu and choose Browse and Bridge, or I can press Control alt o or Command option o on the Mac to switch to the bridge. And notice I'm looking at the contents of the 06 save subfolder inside the exercise files folder. And here's that file that I saved in the previous movie, weighing in at 32 megs with layers. And then here's the TIFF file that we just saved without layers that's weighing in at about 11 megabytes or approximately a third the size. And that's how you save a flat TIFF file specifically intended for commercial print reproduction inside Photoshop.